I love you one. First, we're gonna add a shake drag it onto this right here and then what we're gonna do is change the amplitude to five make sure motion blur is on so then it won't be ugly <laughs> and then you're gonna change the frequency to about 15 and then after that you're gonna change the seed to 0 0.090 you can mess around with the seed and then you're gonna change the x shake you're gonna change this one to we're gonna do 80 now we're gonna go under Y shape. We actually don't need to change this one, so... And then tilt shake. We're gonna change this one to five. Now we're gonna go like a few frames forward, so about like right here. Go back to the amplitude. Make a keyframe. Make sure it's at the beginning of your clip. Go like towards the end. Change this to zero. Now once we play this back, as you can see, the shake is there, but we need to add a graph. Double click the amplitude or press U on your keyboard. Select all your keyframes. Right click one of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, press this graph editor, click this button right here. I could actually change this to value graph. I'm going to do a graph like this. And then if we do this tighter, yeah, like that. After we have his shake, we're now going to go over his turb. Search up turbulent displays, go to amount. We're going to change the amount to 75, change the size to 45 keyframe add amount we actually do a keyframe for size as well press you on our keyboard go towards the end of your shake change the amount size to seven change the size to two i might increase this a little bit more change the size to 19. if we play this back as you can see it's like not the look we're going for but if we change the size back up some now for the last part of this video, we're going to go over warp. Search for warp now. Change this warp style to fisheye. So we're going to change the first keyframe to negative 100. And then we're going to make a keyframe. And then we're going to move forward one frame. Change it to zero. Move forward five frames and change it to negative 46. Move forward four frames, six. And then we can move forward four more frames, two. And then we can move forward. I'm just gonna go right here, enter the keyframe, and change it to zero. Go over all these keyframes, right click one of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Once we turn on motion blur, so then that warp has some blur, play it back, and we have our little pinch shake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I love you, Juan. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, wait, did I say love you? I love you. Bye.